Are you a part of the long femur gang like Lane Norton? Or maybe as you squat down, your hips just feel like they've run out of room and are blocked. And if you try to squat any deeper, you get a ton of butt wink. You see, as you squat down, your hip moves into flexion. And for some people, based on their hip socket depth and their femur length, they may never be able to achieve this deep squat. Now, if you do have really long femurs or really deep hip sockets and you want to improve your squat depth a little bit more prior to squatting, do some ankle mobility work like this calf stretch, five for 10 seconds at minimum. More knee over toe translation means a deeper squat with a more upright chest. Also, weightlifting shoes with a raised heel can also be a big help in squat depth, as you can see. At the end of the day, understand that not everyone's going to be able to achieve that perfect astrograss upright chest squat because of their anatomy, and that's okay. It's about optimizing the positions that your body is capable of.